Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to kindergarten with Mrs. R. So today we are going to be working in our backpack bear writing and reading workbook number two. So you're going to need to grab that. And we're also going to be working in our CR blend packet that is purple and has a picture of a crown on the top. So you'll want to grab these two things for work this morning. Okay. So if you don't have those things yet, um, go ahead and pause your video and then get those to um, the workbook and the packet that you need for today. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to share my screen with you and we'll get started with our first activity. So we are going to start off by working in our Backpack Bear Reading and Writing Workbook. And we're going to go ahead and turn to page number 27. So it's a two and a seven in the corner right here. I'm going to turn the line on so it's easier to see. Okay, so on page 27. All right, and if you're having any trouble finding 27, I'm pointing down here in the corner so you can see what it looks like, two and a seven. Right. And if you can't find it, ask um, a parent to help you. All right, so make sure you have a pencil handy. You're gonna need that. And let's go ahead and get started and let's look at the directions. So the directions say, listen for beginning and ending sounds. So what we're going to do is we're going to say the word for each picture and then we're going to write down the sounds we hear at the beginning and the sounds we hear at the end. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in. Number one is the word five. So when we say five, listen for the first sound. What letter makes the f sound in five? So it's letter F, okay? I, what's that last sound we hear in five? What letter makes the sound? V, right? So I, okay? So we're writing down the beginning sound, the first sound we hear, and the last sound we hear. Okay, so here's the next one. Heart, heart. What letter makes the sound in heart? H says, as in heart. Okay, now when we want to say the last sound, we say, R, T, T, T. What letter makes the T sound? T, right? Heart, heart. Okay, let's try the next one. Worm, worm, wuh, 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 wuh. W makes the w sound. And let's listen for the last sound. Wur, mm, wur, er, mm, mm, worm. What's that sound? What is the letter that makes that mm sound? Yeah. Wuh, er, mm. Okay, here's the next one, number four. Door, door, d, 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 is the first sound in the word door. What letter makes the d sound? D, right? D, o, 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 door. What is the letter that makes the er sound that you hear at the end of door? Oh, R, right? D. Oh, oh, door. Okay. Yarn, yarn, yeah, yeah, yeah. What letter makes the y sound in yarn? Y, right? Y says y, y, r, n, n. What letter says n as in yarn? N, right? Y, r, n. Okay. Octopus, octopus, ah, ah, ah. What letter says ah as an octopus? O, 
Okay, octopus. What's the last sound in the word? Octopus. The last sound we say is s. And we know that is an s, right? Octopus. Octopus. Okay, very good. All right, so if you haven't finished your beginning and ending sounds on these words, go ahead and get them written down. And then if you're not done, go ahead and push pause on the video until you are finished. All right, so now that we have finished that practice sheet in our workbook, we are gonna go ahead and pull out our CR blend packet. Now C and R make a very special sound together. C normally says on its own, and R says er. When we put them together, they say cur, as in cur, crown, crown. Can you hear the cur sound at the beginning of the word crown? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna be working with words that have the cur sound at the beginning. So in our first assignment, in our packet, we are looking for, oops, we are looking for pictures with the cur sound in them, okay? So you have to look very carefully. Okay, so let's look at these first pictures. Toast, crack, soup, crib, headphones, crown, cry, lamp. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our scissors and glue. And if you don't have scissors and glue, make sure that you pause your video and go ahead and get those. All right, so now that we have all the supplies we need, let's go ahead and cut. Just like that. Okay, so there's my page and we're gonna have to decide, does the picture have the CR sound at the beginning or does it not have the CR sound? Okay, so I'm gonna cut out on the dotted lines, all these little pictures, just like that. Just like that. I'm going to stick these on the sides, just like that. Last out. Now, if you're still working on cutting and you need a little bit more time, you can always pause your video. So it's out of our way. And then I'm going to put all of our pictures up here so we can see. Right. Okay, so now we need to decide. If the pictures have the cur, cur sound at the beginning or not. So let's take a look at the first one. Crib. Does crib have the cur sound at the beginning? Crib. Yes, I can hear the cur sounding crib. So it goes on the thumbs up side. Yeah. Okay, here's the next one. This is soup. Soup. Does soup have the cur sound in it? Here's the next one. Crack. There's a crack. Does crack have the cur sound at the beginning? Yes, you can hear it at the beginning of the word cur -ac. crack. Lamp. Lamp. Does lamp have the cur sound in it? No, I don't hear our first sound in the lamp. What's the next one? Toaster. Toaster. Does toaster have the cur sound in it? No. Here's the next one. Crown. Crown. Does crown have the cur sound in it? Crown. Yes. So right here. Headphones, headphones. Does headphones have that cur sound in it? No. 
And our last one, cry, cry, just cry, have the fur sound in it, cry, yes. All right, so let's take a look at our choices that we made here. Crib, crack, crown, cry. Can you hear the fur sound in each one of those? Now these ones do not. Soup, lamp, toaster, and headphones. We do not have the purr sound in those words. Okay. So if you are still cutting and gluing, go ahead and press pause and go ahead and finish up before you move on. All right, so now that we're done with that page, we're going to skip the next page. You can do that on your own if you would like. And we are gonna go to this page, it looks like this. Let's build words, okay? So first thing we're going to do is it says to read it, trace it, and build it. So first let's read these words. C-R says cur, cur, ah, crop. That means to cut something down and make it smaller. Here's the next one, cur, i, b, crib. And that's a bed for a baby. Cur, ah, crap. And that's like when something gets broken and it doesn't break all the way, it has like a little line in it, it's called a crack. Cur, ab, crab. And of course we know that's a crustacean that lives um, in the ocean. And um, you guys know what a crab is, right? It's kind of, if you go on the beach and on land too, and it's got all these legs and two pincher arms. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to trace them. So let's trace all our words with a pencil. So I'm just going over each word and I'm writing each one. Crop. And also crop can be something that you grow, like if you have a crop of corn or a crop of strawberries. Mm -hmm. Crib. Crack. And crab. Good. All right, so we've traced all our words. And if you still need a little bit more time to trace, then just press pause until you get done. Okay, and the last step says to build it. So in order to build these words, we need to, again, have our scissors and glue. And be really, really careful when you lift this page up because we don't want to cut the page underneath. Lift it up carefully and cut on these dotted lines, just like that. And now, again, I'm going to cut these out on the lines, trying to cut as straight as we can. We want them to be little squares, we don't want them to end up like circles, so we need to cut carefully on the lines. And let's cut, 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 cut. Cut like that. Right. Okay. okay, so now I know that all of these words are going to have CR at the beginning. So I'm gonna have a lot of CR. So I'm gonna put those towards the top of this when I'm organizing them. And then we've got all these other letters to figure out too. Okay, so, So if you need a little more time to cut and a little bit more time to organize your squares with your letters on them, then this would be a great time to press pause. And then when you have them all cut and organized, then you can push play again and start the video again with this is R, okay? All right, so let's take a look. And I'm seeing that each one of these words is going to have a CR in it at the beginning, okay? So I'm gonna give you a little hint on what will make it easier for you. Let's go ahead and put the CR, I put a dot of glue in each of the, oops, each of the first spots for each of these words. We're gonna go ahead and put the CR in each one of these spots because we know every single one of these words starts with a CR. So you see how I did that? I put a CR, and you can see here, all of them start with CR. 
So I put CR right at the beginning of each word. Now we need to look that after CR, the next letter. So the next letter in the word crop is O. So you need to find in your squares here, the letter O, it's like a circle or the number zero sometimes. Okay, and I'm gonna put that in there. Now, what is the next letter we need? We need a P. Okay, well, P's can be, oh, see, I can turn that around and make that a P, because that, I thought it was a D, but look at here, we turn it around and it becomes a P. P's and D's and B's and Q's can be kind of confusing. So we have C-R-O-P, huh. Now the next one, we have the C-R, we just need to find the letter I. And the I, lowercase i, is a line, like a small number one with a dot on it. So that's this one. Okay. And then, of course, the last letter, C R I B. Okay. Now, the next word, crap, per, we've got the C R. We need an A. So we've got an A over here. And a dot of three. And we that right on. And then, so we've got the C R A, and then we need C K, which makes a K sound when we put them together. That's another special sound. When we see CK together, they make the sound k together. K -a -k. Okay. Now our last word, crab, we have the cur. Now we need the A, the A sound. So we'll put that right in there. And then cur -a. last sound is b, cur -a -b, b. So we need a B. And there we go. Look at that. We've got all our words. We built all of our words. Now, if you're still needing a little bit more time, you know that you can always press pause to give you more time to put all your build all your words and have them all together. So if you need to do that, then this is the time to do it. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and read these words. Get your pointer finger ready and let's read them together. Cur a crop. Cur i the crib. Cur a crap. Cur a crap. Great. See how you guys did that? You guys are so smart. You're learning all of these new blends and word families. So our word, our blend for today is CR. It says cur as in crown or crib or crab or crap. So lots of words with a cur sound. All right. Well, thank you for joining me today as we learned about the CR blend and working in our backpack pair workbook. I hope you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you very soon. Bye everyone.